It's working now. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah, they were talking. Yep, Starfield. Yeah. I recently, <laughs> I, I got Starfield literally at midnight when it came out. I was up and I'm like, all right, it's midnight. Bye, download. <laughs> and have not regretted it. Yes. Does my laptop bug down, bog down every time I try and run it? Yes. Does it freeze in between every dialogue option when I speak to any NPC? Yes. It tries to kill itself. Does it, it work smoothly when I am on a planet alone, just exploring and uh, cataloging the wildlife? Yes. No. So I am very happy doing that. Yeah. <laughs> does it work smoothly? Yeah, I sure hope so. It's like the only thing I, you can do. Does it work smoothly when I am in town? No. Uh, but um, it, it has... Yeah, what a game. I They put so much effort into that game. I'm so impressed. Uh, great sci science. Honestly, it's, it hardly even feels like science fiction. They did a very good job of making it feel believable, um, especially in contrast to, to the Fallout, the Fallout world space that they have. Um, I've been up impressed. I had high expectations, um, so I was ready for you know the letdown um but they exceeded my high expectations so i'm happy this is literally the game i thought would be out there when i was you know like 10 and i first heard that video games existed um, hey. <laughs> yes i did not know video games existed until i was 10 um started building building a ship holy cow that's awesome i am about to steal a ship I did a little research and found out that uh, with a certain skill point added, you can target certain systems and disable a ship instead of destroying it. So I added that skill, and I've been sent to collect a debt from a spacer. So I am going to shoot at his engines, board, and kill him, and then take his ship because I want to. And I don't like flying around a ship that's on loan. Like the Frontier is. <clears throat> So yeah, um, actually, Selkie uh, is busy with Coda. Oh, Selkie returns. Perfect. Good timing. You heard me say your name, didn't you? Oh, now I can't hear you. Did. What? There you go. You heard me say your Hi. name, didn't you? No, oh, I didn't. Okay. I didn't have my headphones on. So at the start of the game, you have to set up your character background, and then three kind of essentially like subclasses basically um uh -huh. little details about you and it gave me it made me think of um legends of kralis man i wish dad was in chat right now um <clears throat> because of just some of the options that it had um were similar to some of the options and some of the skills that you get as a result for choosing those options um to setting up a character in, in Kralis, which is tomorrow night's game for those of you who don't know um stealth and persuasion those are important i have persuasion but not yet stealth uh <clears throat> so yeah Kralis is tomorrow um tonight is demonic mnemonic because i'm a sucker for fun names it's actually the Lost Continent, but where the episode title is well yes mnemonic. the episode is demonic mnemonic the uh the <laughs> Uh, the the game storyline thing is a lost uh, the lost continent. Um, <clears throat> uh, in short, to recap from a couple weeks ago, which is when we last played, uh, the party was working their way out of Callie's now ex maybe castle after. It's complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> It is the um, Facebook status. It's complicated. It's complicated. Uh, Marcus banished her father to... Uh, Marcus banished Deidre's father to, back to hell. 
Um, Callie Forever. told Deidre to just stay quiet and not move, and she. Callie did not do that. Something along those lines. Um, you it was something like, yeah. So you you told her to just shut up. I think I think you told her to shut up is what it was. Bye bye, hey Dion. Stop and shut up is what I think you said. I'll have to go back and double check. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. Stop and shut up. Ellie's kind of a bitch. Just a bit. So, um, she oh, then well, stormed out on though. her girlfriend. And all because, you know, I mean, good grief, you know, just because you found out her dad was a, it was a, it was a, it was an arch devil. I mean, come on. That's, no, uh, we also, broke up because she tried to kill my friend. <laughs> yeah, we're, you're forgetting that big thing where it's like, hey, I sent up your friend to face my dad, who was the freaking arch devil that destroyed the entire <laughs> continent. And then she just started to have a bitch I was like, fest, no, I you don't need myself. to go there. He's, he'll, he'll be fine. And I'm like, is he going to die? He'll be fine. That's <laughs> not... <laughs> That, that's no and i just you appear and i'm my like friend to the wolves and expect me to be okay i mean she expected he would go on the defense and you know his holy magic would protect him she didn't expect he'd go on the offense like that no it you was, didn't account for it fatherly was, rage <laughs> it was literally the only option he had i don't right some dads are arch devils i mean for pete's sake that's like finding out hey your dad's an elf I'm out of here. I mean, come on, Listen, Callie. This, there, there, are some, there are some <laughs> shotgun just... talks that should be held, but this isn't I, this isn't a no. shotgun talk. <laughs> this is this is this is this is a you ending. sent my friend to die. This, this <laughs> isn't this isn't this isn't the shotgun talk. This is literally my father is a supreme being, practically a god, and probably has numerous warlocks. Under no, his, he literally under... is a god. Yeah, he's a demonic god. Like And uh yeah, if you want to cross me, you will face an eternity of torture and death. Anyways, here's Callie. Like <laughs> <laughs> Marcus just Oh yeah, no. Uh Callie, where are Oh shit. There's an oh, arch devil yeah. in front of me. Uh and then so... he's like Yep, yeah, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In short, he banished her dead. Um so they made their way down into the depths to try and find their way out. Kind of got lost or were led into a trap. We don't know. Um, and their tiny little gnome child friend transformed into this large hulking. Not large. It was the same size. Okay. Yeah, it was the same size. He's Fair just enough. like a raccoon. Well, he's like a raccoon. Am. He was large to the other children. Um, he's still a gnome child. Let's, let's, this... like... The horns add half a feet, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the horns, baby. <laughs> Bum, the um, the, this, this horned raccoon demon thing. It's a horny little raccoon. <laughs> Who apparently had a thing for Callie, and then that happened. No, I'm kidding. Um, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's the director's cut. Um, don't let Joss Proteus Whedon's catch a case. Direct, Joss, don't Joss don't let Proteus catch a case. He's a, demon of, he's a demon of undeterminate ilk, but he's <laughs> not. <laughs> he's not a Joss Whedon-ish, Whedonite. He's not going to be told to have a seat by a certain... <laughs> he, he, I forget he did, his name. There was no boob grabbing. <laughs> that was... Wait, what? I am I'm so, so confused. confused. I'm Thank sorry. you, Ian. Did I no am too. one else know that about Joss Whedon? I mean, I, I know Josh Whedon. We moved on from Joss asshole. Whedon. No, we have didn't. moved to, to fucking to, to Catch a Predator no. guy. To what? I, I know to Josh Whedon is a creep. Guy. Okay, oh, you God. never specified anything, so I had no no way of knowing you would cha you were talking about someone other than Whedon. I mean, I know Josh Whedon is like that, seat. like that male feminist, like the like very terrible ones. No, Joss oh Whedon in every what Marvel is happening? movie. Is Anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's move go. on. Anyways, anyway, now anyway, I need I... to explain this because in no. you guys no. explain no. to me all the time. No. It's my you turn don't. to explain something to you. You don't. <laughs> no, in I, every I just Marvel movie you, Joss you... Whedon made, some female gets her boobs grabbed, 
every single Marvel movie Joss Whedon made. Okay. Holy shit, that's Half true. the time, it doesn't even make sense. Like when um, Bruce Banner and Black Widow were talking at the counter and the explosion go off, he grabs her by her boobs to blow her over the counter, essentially. And I'm like, yeah, that's not how any guy with sanity would grab any girl. <laughs> Josh Whedon is an anime fan confirmed. Yeah, it's... Um, Anywho. It was just added in there, and it didn't really make sense in every single one. Um, every movie, every show... Uh, thank you. Yes, the the <laughs> you were on to Mace Windu, Bornstiller. How'd you get to Mace Windu from any of this? <laughs> Mace How did Windu you get and... to Joss Whedon from the To Catch a Predator guy? Hold I... on, hold on, hold on. Mace Windu is overhated. That is my thing. Like he is not as bad as everyone thinks he is. <laughs> we gotta I... get back on topic. We're gonna finish yeah, at no. midnight anyway, again, and I'm gonna be anyway, so cranky. <laughs> sorry, yeah. Let me kill demonic children now. Let's just do that. Yes. So <laughs> in short, um, uh, yes, his Justice League was a very egregious example. Yes. Um, oh yeah. So the um, yeah. So when we left off, uh, Sir Proteus Wellington demon thing. Um, retreated into a back room as two larger demons came out and they heard the sound of him uh, apparently teleporting somewhere. Um, we left off with Marcus realizing that the demons they were slaughtering to fight their way out of here were in fact not actually demons. They were the mutated kids that had gone missing from their Which... own group of survivors. Which still just heavy props for that. Thank you. <laughs> um, and Abigail heard a noise in the other room back at the castle she was in and proceeded to find a small gnome child in wizard's robes. Well, Hawaiian wizard's robes, but whatever. Um, what? Pop in. Um, as Basically, Sir Wellington pops out looking like he's wearing a like really oversized Hawaiian shirt that's blue. He's uh, trying to he's trying to pass it off as a Hawaiian uh, as a uh, wizard's robe basically. Okay. It's yeah. it's big enough to look like one on him. It's like <laughs> but it's brother. just a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> A medieval Hawaiian shirt. How would yeah. that even... Abigail's not going to judge anyone for choice of clothes right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know She's that's kind true. of vibrantly pink. With yep. the pink and the yellow. Such good colors for this kind of stumbles out like. Ah, cool. Where is everyone? Sorry, I don't are we starting? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we didn't get the cue. Okay. okay. I set the scene. You guys run with it. Okay. I'm sorry. I was like, I don't think I got the cue, but we have the cue. You got um, the cue. Okay. <laughs> DQ, Dairy Queen. Abigail Not recognizes Spotify. this this gnome child at Sir Wellington, I presume. Yeah, only thing different about Sir Wellington is now instead of like the blue like link style tunic, it's now a blue like Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirt. shirt with like with like lighter blue. It's like dark blue with like a little bit of lighter blue flowers on all over it and all that. Yeah. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he is still wearing the tunic and stuff underneath it, though. He's not bathrobing it. I'm straight no, up dog ducking it right now. He, just he, commando. No, he's, he's always he's always had his like little like khaki shorts on, but yeah, and he still has his little yellow rubber gloshes. Okay, she's just gonna like turn and and recognize her Wellington, and immediately just gonna like turn back around what she <laughs> wasn't seen, and kind of like I'm not I'm not sure who if it's Alberion or Dolores is closer to him. She's kind of trying to hide behind them. Well, it looks like she's hiding behind Dolores. Dolores would be closer. Okay. <laughs> she's like, no. So, these, so do, these are people I recognize? Uh, yes. Dolores is a one of the other um, members of the shipwreck who went missing months ago. Presumed dead. 
Um, and then Alberion is the wizard, the renowned old yeah. wizard who um, dipped out um, when Dude. you guys found that the majority of the first camp was wiped out at that fort. Yeah. He said he had something very important to check on and left. And took his apprentices with him. And cut off one of everyone's fingers in their sleep. Yep. Okay, he oh. did that on session oh. two. Oh, oh, oh. wait, wait, wait. No one okay. knows that. Okay, so I, so Gail. I, where were, where have you guys been? He's just looking over at them, like, like in awe, like, where have you guys been? Busy. Um... Wow, that's really, oh. that's really, that's really, uh, that's, that is so, that's so helpful. Cool. Cool. How have you been, little one? I didn't say, how have you been? I said, where have you been? Like, we, we didn't <laughs> know where you went to. And, and then, and then, uh, I, I was, I was trying to, to get back here and it was, uh, man. And, and I don't know, like, Abigail was, like, opening portals last, I, and then, and then they were just, like, gone, and the people were like, oh, there's the little guy, and they, they, they go, bamf, and then I'm gone, but, you know, it was good. I have cookies. Do you want a cookie? And he just pulls two cookies out of his back out of his uh bag of holding. I'll I'll take a cookie. Um Dolores Okay. Takes a cookie. This is really good. Yeah, right. They 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 were made in a tree. Hmm. Made in a tree. Yeah. You know, I do kind of taste a witty undertone to their taste. Mm. It's a cookie, not wine. Right. <laughs> See, she's just so special. She yeah, well, can he's taste, not like, inciting her to see if she's telling the truth, so better compliment the kid. <laughs> Naz, are you something right now? Yes. <laughs> Always. Mm -hmm. You know me. It's my job. <laughs> Anyways. Mm -hmm. So where is where is everyone else? I I don't know where 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 like where Marcus is right now, and I don't know where the others are. And man, uh, was, no idea whatsoever where they are. <laughs> man, like I don't. Uh, what, uh, he looks at them and he just squints. He goes, "How long has it been since you've seen me?" Because I know how long it's been, but I want to know how long you think it's been. Oh, it's been a few months for me. When you say a few months, how many? I, I don't know. I've kind of been underground. So have I, honestly. Um, but if I would uh, mm. have to calculate, I would say... Yeah, Mr. Wizard Man. You should know better. Uh, it's been approximately uh, six months, I believe. Uh, then you carried that. Uh, um, um, oh, okay. That, that makes more sense, I guess. Okay. Sounds good. He just gives like an awkward thumbs up, and then, uh, he he just yeah, he just kind of like walks over. He's like, "So what are you guys doing?" I feel I feel like we need to find find the others. Some of them were at a sanctuary, but that's so I'm not as worried about them. But like. Marcus, I don't know what happened. He was looking for Abigail. He just kind of tenses up at that. 
Um, Does she? Can I roll insight to see if Sir Wellington recognizes her? Ooh, yes. Um, Sir Wellington. She, I, huh? She looks completely different. Yeah, I does it. He's not going to. He, he's not like. He's not like being super observant right now. He's focusing on the people he recognizes, and so he he's not aware that that's Abigail behind. <laughs> him right now. He's just like, yeah, okay. Really, um, uh, Alberian will kind of stroke his beard. Um, so what exactly did he want with Abigail? I must ask. Well, so when we were going to Sanctuary, that the the place where the people are, where they're like. Oh, nothing evil can get in here. They were like, hey, look, this dude is evil. And they said that I was evil, but I don't really feel evil. And I feel less evil now as well. I don't know. I, you know, time is, Kev, Kevin makes things uh, and puts things into perspective at times. Um, and then, you know, with Marcus, they found a bunch of like evil artifacts and I think it was, we think it was probably Abigail pulling a prank, but he was really mad. So he wanted to talk to her. And so we were listening. He said he was listening to Ollie. And so we were following the voice of Ollie to where her, her shrine was. And then uh, I woke up and I was like, oh, where is, where is Marcus? And like I was trying, and I got bored, and I was looking around, and I was I was angry at Ollie, and I was telling Ollie off. I don't know, maybe you shouldn't do that to a god, but whatever, it doesn't matter. We are where we are now. So then, <laughs> at that point, uh, well, I got I got bamped, and then I was there, and Abigail was there holding a book with the old with the old dude, creepy dude, and uh. She wouldn't let go of book, and I was like, oh, no, we got to stop this. I got to actually talk. And so I grabbed the book, and I started running around. And then he explained things and made some better points. So I gave him back the book, but then some old lady saw me, and then I had Banff again, and then now we it's just, and then other things happen, but it is what it is, and we're here now. Really? Um, I... But lots of when I held when I was holding the book and they were not chanting whatever they were chanting. Lots of little portals kept opening up everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's very concerning. Um, was the individual's name the old one uh, by any chance named Histon? I don't know if he said his name or not. But that might very well be the case. What did he look like? Um. Uh. Well. Um. Old. Maybe it would be yes. Uh. Very old. Wow. And... I already said he was an old guy. That's really helpful. Short, Thank you. White hair, pointy elf ears. Man, you really know this person. Yeah, that sounds like them. And yeah, it looks. Um... He's trying to look over at who's like talking. Dolores is like kind of. You know, keeping your mind. Yes, this is our companion, a Alice. Um, Alice okay. here is. Um, would Alice like a cookie? Alice, would you like a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't eaten. Wait, she hasn't eaten as a human. <laughs> oh no, she hasn't. <laughs> Mortal food. Sure. Okay, you, he reaches in his bag right now. <laughs> and like pulls out a, a chocolate chip cookie, hands it to Dolores to give to Alice. So like, hmm. <laughs> Dolores will pass it to Alice Gale. Alice Gale. Alice Gale. <laughs> she'll she'll like peer around. I do you know where she went? Know where who went? Histon. I don't know. The old the old lady 
that came out that was like there with them. It was like, bah, 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 bah. and like, what an evil little dude. And one night, bam. And then that was not fun. That was not nice of her. You should really talk to people before you do things like that. <laughs> You're telling me. I mean, I'm just glad I, I, I knew where I was when I got there. Because that could have been really scary otherwise. Like when I got here, that was not fun. Then there's a bunch of people that were like, ooga, ooga, ooga. I don't remember what they were chanting, but they were chanting stuff and they were in robes and they had daggers. And then they were, they saw me and they were like, this is not who we wanted. And they tried, they tried to kill me and that was not fun. And, and then, and then I ran away. Wait, you were, you were first summoned to this realm of existence through a demonic, or well, an occultic ritual? I guess it was not fun. So you are not necessarily from our paraverse. What's a paraverse? Uh, well, I I guess I should say multiverse. Um, there are different worlds out there, not just worlds. Um, uh, multiverses. Um, like where Kevin is from. Yes, similar to like where Kevin is from. Um wherever yeah. that may be and um <laughs> sometimes i don't know they... it's really nice oh, that's good that's very good to hear uh, sometimes they connect and uh people can uh teleport from one to another um mm. i'm like not how I got entirely here. sure how you were... and a child was pulled by a ritual there must have been i don't know key mistake they made in their in their they were not happy to see me. They were like, "This isn't the part we did. What is this?" And they did. They tried. They tried to attack me. And then I, 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 I ran away. And I, I stole this. And I hold up the bag. And I was like, "And, and then I started learning things from it. And it was good. And now, I, and now I can do things like this." And he just like lets energy crackle at his fingertips. Uh, could I see that bag? Why? Do you want cookies? No, I want to check something. Okay. He 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 like like looking at them cautiously, but hands it over. Thank you. Because he knows them. He's going to kind of look it over. Um, he's going to. I I will be right back, and he's going to spend the next. Wait, where 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 are you going? Just the next room over. I have to perform a quick ritual to check something. Um, he's, I he's, may be able to gonna... help you with those robed individuals who pulled you away from your home. Uh, I, ha I haven't seen them in over a year. Well, no. if this works, you may never have to see them again. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, you will pop into the next room. <laughs> My poor roommate is very drunk and asking me how to fix it. How to fix what? Drunk. Being drunk? Bread and water. Yeah, they are currently going to sleep. Aw. Bread and bread and water. They have that water. One. They cannot so they're the they're the the, the nauseous level of drunks. So they're mm. like no food. So they have water. So they go water and go to sleep. Well glad they well, have at water. That, at that point part of me would say stick a finger down a throat, but <laughs> No. Oh. So Well They are very small. I... That, well, that's what I've done in the past to purge my system of alcohol. The... It's a, it's an effective system. Hmm. I want to try something different tonight because I'm in an experimentary mood. Oh yes. no. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh yes. But... Um. We are going to tab over to combat, and we will do a single round of combat and then tab back. And we'll try and do like Star Wars, where you have the characters talking, and then it switches to the battle scene, and then back <laughs> to the characters talking, and then back to the battle scene. So you have Anakin and Padme, and then Obi-Wan fighting Jango Fett, and then Anakin and Padme on a picnic, and then Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi fighting Jango Fett, and then Anakin and Padme on a rowboat, and then Obi-Wan <laughs> Kenobi fighting Jango Fett. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 
Time Continuous doesn't exist in that movie. <laughs> In any of those movies, actually. Not really, no, no. Things are not happening stories. simultaneously to each other. There's no... Because there was, like, there's... a month that went by for Anakin and Padme uh, yeah. during the scene of Obi-Wan versus Jango Fett that played on the opposing... Chronological Order Who. It was... Never heard yeah. of her. Ba- <laughs> the, the longer time skips were made up with during the travel time of Kenobi in between the planets and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to find all the places. Yep. Yeah. So, but the yeah, stuff I, that was I, actually on screen, those were not happening simultaneously. You know, hyperspace takes so long sometimes. I kind of was surprised of how long. But anyway, yeah, combat. Something along those lines. Yeah, it, it, if I remember correctly, yeah, the uh, the timeline of what happened with Kenobi and stuff, it resolved itself once he sent the message and was captured by the Genosians, um, and that message was received by anakin but before that those were not exactly happening simultaneously especially as there were several cut scenes from anakin and padme's side that actually are still canon they just were never put back in for some weird reason um so fighting children let's go yes um fighting demon children yeah yeah so yeah it's it's really cool it's kind of an interesting way to, to do the the time bouncy thing so that's what we're doing Man, okay. abigail's focus. really focus. missing focus. out <laughs> right this is this is like yeah. abigail's like dream fight it's a fight children, <laughs> <Fighting> children. <laughs> <laughs> and they're demonic so she has a good reason to fight them it's okay now this is this is children Selkie, on children violence this is selkie's dream scenario so selkie gets that is also true days. but martin yes. you can maybe if you want, just NPC Dahlia that way. I'm not taking okay. up another turn. All right, would Dahlia fight or run? Yeah, she'll fight if Marcus is doing it and Callie's doing it. So, like, what's her, her definition of fighting? She's, she's, approximately two, she's approximately two days old. I mean, she did, what like, thorn whip have? some bitches. Oh, that's true. She has the primal thing where she can just, like, Oh, and oh yeah, that too. That too. She has like she has a bunch of druid spells that she can use. Mm-hmm. Primal she's savagery. Two, yeah, Primal she's two scary. days old, but she's also like a hundred people stitched together. <laughs> so somewhere in there, so one one of them's got to be like Madiv. <laughs> yeah, one of them one knows of, how to like puff one of them shit has up. to have like anger issues and they need to take it out on these demon children. The do- the Dahlia born should... identity. <laughs> the they're just waiting for the right voice to take over the body and to take control because there's a hundred of them all like is fighting. It, what is that? What is that really bad horror movie that leaves a bad taste in my mouth? Split. What? Split. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that wasn't was Dahlia. Bad. That was Patricia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now Abigail can do. Oh, that wasn't me. That was Abigail. I'm Alice. <laughs> oh, God. True. But yeah. So, wait. Who goes first, though? I forgot that. Um, I believe... Yeah. Not quite top Should of the turn. Should we just, like, or... re-roll initiative? No, no, no. Because I have stuff here. Okay. No, because I want to hit you first. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you would do this. Got this. Can't believe you had done this. <laughs> it's so weird to see have a character that's so low after been dealing with level twenties for like three months now. Right. How does it like, what do you Why are you yelling in the A? Well, get down. Get down. Get down. Just stay down and get down. That's okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just stay there. Martha's a badass. Martha's a badass. Martha's a badass. Speaking of Martha's a badass. You know, also, Mark, we need to give Martha muscle mommy, like, now. He deserves it. <laughs> he deserves it. You see how badass he was? Ouch deserves it, dude. He deserves it. Hmm. 
Alright, you went there, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, I was, yeah, you did. I mean, if it helps, I was over by, I was going back to defend the people behind me and then just kind of wiped out a bunch of the changelings. Not changelings. The children? Um, children, yeah. I was like, no, there's no, gotta I, be a... I think I actually have it marked here. Um, I think I have an encounter properly set up that we're already in the middle of a freaking encounter right right no i mean i'm mean, given that you <coughs> on beyond i think i have oh, it. okay yeah i forgot you could do that yeah 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 i'm just trying to see if it's saved where we were uh i don't know how to pull up pass and counters Ah, there it is, my encounters. About during time. Hmm. Curse of Amatera's tomb. Am Amatera, that is, nope. So um, close. You're almost there. You're uh, almost there. <laughs> Markham, how do you pronounce the full god name that she's based on? Amatera? Amatera? Nope. The no! Amaterasu. 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 So you take away Amaterasu. Amaterasu. You take yeah, there you go. You take away that last syllable. You have Amatera. Okay. Japanese I, deity. Okay. Yes, I created. I created a, a it, deity it unfortunately... in Markham's world, the goddess of change, mm -hmm. based off of the greatest video game goddess of all time, Amaterasu from the game Okami. It's the greatest game of all fucking time. Matt knows. I got Matt to play it. It is amazing. I love it. So I made I made her into Markham's game, and she is Amatha, the goddess of change, cycles, birth, and decay. It's weird. And I love Unfortunately, her. it did not save it. I did something wrong, and I didn't save it. I'm very disappointed in myself. Well, so, we re-roll it. Um, looks like we're re-rolling initiative, everyone. Uh, all right. No, I know oh, wait, I wait. Like it, it might show it in the game log. Yes, it does. Haha. -ha. Oh, cool. I'm a genius. Okay. Well, Sir Wellington went first. Doesn't matter. He's somewhere else now. Yeah, but I didn't use seeing uh, Beyond for initiative. I pulled my actual yes, dice. Sir Proteus Wellington, yes. Yeah, same. I can't. Did it mark it there? It says 824. Dahlia's initiative roll was 8. And on 824, Callie's initiative roll was 13. Really? I rolled initiative one here? Yeah. Hmm. Um, Matt did not. I remember yeah. Matt being first, though. Which wasn't hard with an 8 and a 13 to beat. Yeah. Well, I remember Sir <laughs> Sir Proteus being first. And Matt I had like a, I had like gotten like a twenty two or something like that. Yeah, it was obscene. Um, so Marcus, you're going first. Time to slice and dice. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh my gosh, sorry, I just saw what oh, was the team. You know that but... game? Born don't Stellar. look at don't. <laughs> no, what a. Freaking... Don't look at my gay spider. But I love your gay spider. <laughs> I know everyone loves my gay spider. I do. I, I want to uh -huh. get back so bad. Anywho. <laughs> Any whore. All right. Uh, so I know I'm over by more of the door. What's necessarily in front of me right now? If you're back by the first door that you came through, right? Uh, yes. In front of you is the handful of people who weren't hit by that blast attack from Sir Proteus. Okay. Uh, how's, uh, not Deidre, Sorsha and all them looking? Uh, been better. I'm guessing, I'm guessing oh, fine, because those they were... Ones, yeah, they're fine, they were they're, just in a cage. Fine. Okay, so... They're now out of the cage because they were let out by one of the NPCs. Okay, so, Marga, I think I know the answer, I just want to be sure. Can you cast other spells 
while you're concentrating if it's not a concentration spell, or do you have to focus specifically on the As spell? long as it's okay. not a concentration spell, you can cast other spells. Okay. So how many are looking a little bit rough? <coughs> but like he can he knows he can actively Give help. me a medicine check. Fair enough. Uh Uh, that is a 28. Okay. There are several unconscious on the ground who are not dead, but will be in minutes. Okay, how many are we talking here? About eight. Okay, hold on. Let me see. And those who are standing, yes, they are looking uh, very rough. Uh, Oh, hold on. I'm a cleric and I haven't used this ability yet. Hold on. Let me just see I if it requires... love it when a player says that. <laughs> Let, let's just see if it uh, hasn't... Okay, no, it doesn't require concentration, but it does take an action. So, I will actually use my channel to divinity. Okay. Are they undead? No. Well, no. Uh, there is... A motion I can do with the li with the life cleric, where it's preserved life. As an action, you can restore 50 HP. Choose any creatures within 30 feet of you and divide the points among them. Holy cow! So <laughs> there's the eight that are down that need basically just one hit point to survive, right? Yeah. And then how many are up that need healing? <coughs> About twelve. Okay, so let me do some math really quick because I am terrible at math. <coughs> Fair enough. Yeah, you know, because you know, I haven't had the chance to use because I can't do Destroy a Dead because I don't want to destroy Dahlia because she's a absolute bean. But this I could use it for, and I still have one more I can use. So. Mm -hmm, don't destroy Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy undead! Only Dahlia turns to dust. Oh, I, no, the no. rest of us are undead, fool! <laughs> okay. And then, how many were there that were standing, but still? Twelve. Pretty big. So, a total of twenty. 12. Okay, so, eight points will go to the people unconscious. Which means, if each. I did the math right, I think there were thirty-one total escapees. Um, so that means eleven. I just deep fried do some look do some of the ones standing look better than others like is there some that can still that still look yeah about decent? two of them <laughs> oh okay uh, yeah um ian very effectively decimated your backup <laughs> with a uh, single spell you're yeah, welcome so it's I, I gave you less work to do. It's okay. Yeah. You're yeah. Is, it, yeah. is that what we're he calling He's my it? best bud. He he took my work as DM and he just whoosh, halved it right oh, there. I, oh, I also I also gave uh, Marcus less work to do. He doesn't have to heal as many people. Oh my gosh. Oh, that too. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not. <gonna> be <laughs> <laughs> I love that logic. Why'd you kill my friends? Hey, now you don't have to worry about keeping them alive. You know. So it's it's not going to be been much. There's worse logic. So, Marcus, really quick. <coughs> Just to narrate the action. We'll hold on to his, am his amulet and start speaking in Celestial. And as he does, this sort of... <coughs> What's the main color of Alley right now? It's gold, right? I think so, yes. Great... Golds and greens, I believe. Golds and green. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. This greenish gold light just starts to surround him as uh, Oh, he... and red. Kind of a deep crimson red. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, that color. Looking like a Christmas light over here. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> uh, Don't yeah. die, Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just adjusting my back real quick. I have a special Stop doing thing. that. It's bad for you. Oh, no, it's a special uh, actual thing. 
Um, no, it, we just, I'm saying don't die. Dying is bad oh, for you. Oh, dying is bad for you, yes. <laughs> I thought you were saying making myself pain-free is bad for me. I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> so, yeah, he'll, <laughs> do, he'll do that, and he will uh, give eight points to those that need it. And then he'll divide it among the rest who are standing, which is four points. And then as a bonus action, because I still have my bonus action. Yes, you do. Uh, I will cast Mass Healing Word to... Hmm, how many? Uh, six of the twelve that look the worst. Hmm. So that is uh, still not great, but it's 14 health to those six. And then seeing as he still has Spirit Guardians active and he has 30 feet of movement, he is going to start to move up so that uh, he can maybe dwindle down the numbers a little bit. But as he does realize... The fact that these things are the children that did go missing. He's going to get a very somber look on his face. And he's more so now just trying to release them of their torment. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Four points. So, no the brutal critical combo kills? Nope. But yeah, he's. That'll be Callie. Wait for it. <laughs> is, I was about to say he is going to move You asked me up. out on a date. <laughs> he is going to move. You gave up. me drugs. He is going to move up closer to that group. So if there is any of the demons that enter his circle, they will have to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Yeah, he's going to use a full. Speaking of which, that if... kid did get deep fried. Good. I mean, yeah. If we don't feel sorry for people that tried to roof you people with magic. No. We do not support arcane rupees. Yeah. <clears throat> you just, you know. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so yeah, four points to the twelve, and then fourteen extra points to the ones that look the most damage, and then eight points to the unconscious on the ground. Divided between the eight. So yeah, that is all I can do for my turn. Okay. But speaking of though, does he get any extra demon kills or no? Because it's a fifteen foot. Yeah, it's within fifteen feet of him. Let's see. Think of where you're moving. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, you get another <laughs> like six. Okay, they all have to make wisdom saving throws. Yeah, no, they all fail. Oh yeah. Okay, they take eighteen radiant damage. They did <laughs> from the from the angels as, as like he just moves the three angels come swoop just yep chopping nope, them all. They are very dead. All right, Callie. Hi. Let the brutality commence. Violence. Um, I don't remember if I was still within a rage. I think I was. I think you are. I think I was still raging. Yeah. Yeah, because I haven't stopped attacking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hate that I have to keep Discord right here so I don't have to, like, mm. blind myself. Say, like, don't blind yourself. You know, uh, yourself. Uh, uh, okay. Um... Oh. Oh. Selkie, so learn to read. I should be like on a fucking rampage. Um <laughs> I just read the, the or part of Great West Weapon Master. Or reduce a creature to zero HP. You can make one more melee attack. Oh. Nice. Okay. Should be going on a fucking rampage. Any whore. Ram there's fucking page. Ram fucking page. Poor page. So just there rammer. is be do be do be do. 
who's in front of me that I can hit? Because I was chasing um, Proteus, but Proteus is no longer here. Well, there are the two large demons that stepped out of the room he dipped into and shut the door behind him. Hmm. And then teleport. Yeah, away. we're going to engage in combat with them. Because Go Proteus made me mad, and now I'm trying to get to Proteus, <laughs> and I'm mad. So, we are going to whack schmackity do. Hell yeah, 23 to hit. Schmick schmack patty whack. Schmackity whackity do. Schmackity whackity do. Where are you when you need to Eight. form a beating? What? Eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like nicked it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now we're super mad. We're going to switch to our great axe. A giant axe. Her very tiny girl, oh. and this just makes me, the visual just makes me fun. It makes me giggle. You know those characters that are way too small and have a weapon that is way too big. Every anime ever. Yes, that's Callie, right? Also, can I just <laughs> say live very action? Tiny girl with the very tiny girl. I've heard it's act. phenomenal. I actually want to watch One Piece now. Really I. Good. I have actually watched the anime One Piece now because I'm sick. I'm like, I better give it a chance. I'm actually really liking it. The live action that Netflix did is so good. Oh, holy shit. You cannot convince me that Monkey D. Luffy is not a D&D &D character that is made as a joke character. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's a 22 to hit with my axe. 22. <clears throat> Luffy is so well. That hits. <laughs> Great. Seven, eight, nine points of damage because we are so good at hitting. Not bad. Um, you you heard it again. Excellent. And flurry of blows. Thirteen. Thirteen to hit. All right. Um... Does that hit? No. <laughs> no? Damn. God, it's Baldur's Gate all over again. I can never land my fucking flurry of blows! You, you mean it's just D&D &D all over again? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's 11. I don't hit. It. But it's right. fine. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it for me. That's two attacks and a bonus. All right. That's it. That's all I got in me. Damn it. Okay. I thought it would be better. That's okay. You're good. I'm used to he who big numbers. There's no big numbers here. Yeah, we're kind of <laughs> playing the smaller <laughs> characters right now. <laughs> I have 41 <laughs> spells. I'm used... To, I'm very much used to my plus 16 modifier. <laughs> Fair. <clears throat> no. All right. Mm-hmm. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, much better. Holy shit. I'm fine. All right. That brings NPCs. us actually to the NPCs. So, Sorsha is going to charge against one of the larger demons. All right. Yo, Dragon Mommy, you got this. Still mildly uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, the dice rolled and they did not want Honeycomb. They wanted Dragon Mommy. Was it's... Uh, you guys. Um... <laughs> you love us. 
You yes, do. I do. I really do. All right. Uh, that is a hit. That is also a hit. All right. Um, so essentially, she runs over to the one that has been wounded by you. Attacked both attacks on the uh, on the same demon, right? To weaken it. Sucky. Sucky. Ah. Did you? Did yes. she attack one and then the other? One and then the other. Okay. All right. Uh, she will. Well, let's see which one she attacks. Okay. She attacks the one you damaged less. So the first one you attacked, which means it's your focus is on the other one. So this one now kind of has a little bit of an advantage on attacking you. If it just, it just needs to circle around you a little bit. So it flanks you. Um, but it's not going to get to because she runs up and decapitates it. Hmm, spectacular. Uh, <laughs> she, she, she like whoosh, chops off its arm and then she does, uh, she does the, uh, the mace windu. What he did to, uh, oh, what he did yes. to Jango Fett, just... Whoosh, whoosh. Speaking of Star Wars, <laughs> that is We were so on Mace sexy. Windu all night. Um, that is so sexy. So, Sorsha is the, the gender-bent Mace Windu of this universe, I guess. Hot. <laughs> that, wait, what does that make Marcus, then? Did Mace Windu uh, Windu one of the romantic <laughs> interests at the theater that Mace Windu frequented. <laughs> Fun fact, Mace Windu frequented the theater at Coruscant. He did, yes. He was, yeah. I he, believe he that. Was He's one a of their biggest um, ticket hours, and allegedly he did date the actresses there, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Because I believe it. He's it was a classy not for, It was not forbidden to date. No, they. A lot of the Jedi were known to date around. They just couldn't have a romantic attachment. As long as it's casual dating, and they didn't really you know, have a connection beyond physical, it's fine. <clears throat> I mean, I will always say this. <laughs> so, in other words, what you're saying is there was lots of Jedi babies out there, oh, but yeah. uh, oh, they, yeah. were the, they were the, just the, 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 the only there was no the feelings. only pro the only problem was they they said oh, I don't have feelings, and it's the fact that Anakin went, but I want to get married, and they went, shame on you. No. Basically, no. yes, yes. The the massive issue with the Jedi Order was that weird honor code of, as long as you're a shit parent, you're good to go. But the second you care about those kids, <laughs> well, we're coming for you. you give a shit. <laughs> uh, and honestly, it's changed so much. My favorite interpret really quick, sorry. Favorite interpretation of Jedi attachment is in yeah. the Revenge of the Sith novelization. It is mm -hmm. amazing. It is the best piece of Star Wars media I, I have really ever good. read. So, real quick plug, read the freaking episode three Revenge of the Sith novel. It is on Audible. Sorry, we can get back to the indie now. I'm sorry. It's okay. I that just, is good. George Lucas even recommended that. I, I um, just really love that novel so much. It has made me cry an unholy amount of times. Yeah, I need it for my collection still. Um, but anyhow, um, so as this epicness goes on and Callie is wounding one with um, Sorsha at her back, um, covering her back. Uh, we tap back over as um, the uh, team of four uh, departs from the decrepit and abandoned castle. And they kind of look out and the distant lava castle, there's no combat there anymore. Whatever was flying over there is just gone. It's just, it's, it's all over. Whatever it was. When we say the four, are we talking about what? Pr um, Proteus, um, uh, a Alice, um, <laughs> the names are confusing me now. Um, Alberian, right. and... oh, Alber Alberian, Sir Wellington, <laughs> Abigail, Dolores, and, and Dolores, Alice. yes. <laughs> because you are now Alice to Sir Wellington. Oh. Even with the voice, did uh, did he recognize the voices? The voice uh, the same. Should be allowed I'd to roll, roll for roll the voice. A, uh, roll a wisdom check. Roll for voice. Okay, no, that's a nat one. So no, he has no oh idea. Who really? I was like, I was not was expecting like, that. I was expecting. Okay. I no. mean, all right. Uh, you know, it's not like you're the only French Canadian voiced character out there. <laughs> Markham, your default is Slavic. 
I was about to say. <laughs> I'm not doing a French Canadian accent for Abigail. I hope you know that. Oh, I really no. do. <laughs> oh God! <Marco. laughs> oh my God! Like, it's not. It's not on purpose. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> what? Marco. What part of that sounds French Canadian? Uh, Anyways, I've anyway, never heard no, a Slavic fine. accent outside of the Olympics, so I didn't have anything to base it, base it off of. <laughs> what? Okay. Where did we go, Marco? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to the lava castle. We decided that. <coughs> Stop dying. I'm choking it's on my tongue. Hey, don't, don't do that. Don't all, do that. All Canadians are coffin dwellers on the verge of yelling at all times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you yes. tell that to my various Canadian friends. Okay, so what's Hi. happening? Also, did I get my bag back? Oh yes, yes. He returned it to you. Uh, he, he, what did he, he say? The channel. It throws me off. So as you guys, as you guys kind of head out of the, um, as you guys head out of the the castle, um, Alberian kind of catches up and hands Sir Wellington his bag back and goes, "So, I know who it was that summoned you. Um, oftentimes, mages will leave, um, kind of a magical signature." on their items of interest, magical items especially, just in case they're ever lost. It's sort of a, um, it's like a lost and found system between mages. You know, the mage can cast identify and uh, kind of do a little bit of a, a magical investigation to find out what, uh, who, uh, who, the, who the magical item belongs to. Um, so, I, I know who summoned you away from your home and uh, Sir Wellington, rest assured, we can, uh, we can, when this is all over and we're back safely um, on a, a different I don't, continent. But I don't want to go there. I don't want to go back there. Oh. I, I was I was on the ship because I was going to the place with the restaurant. I, was, I heard of restaurant and I wanted to check out restaurant. Okay. Well, why would I go back to where those people are that are not nice just to like be like, you, you did this bad thing, I'm going to come and get you. And then when, especially when I was like, like, I was like, I heard of, uh, I heard of the the thing it's, they say it's called Beef Wellington. And I was like, oh, it's a, well, it's a Wellington. And I was like, I wanted to try. And it's, I guess, really good there. And so I, I wanted to go and try. Well, we'll table this discussion for another time, small one. Okay. You want to go get a beef wellington with me? That might be a little bit challenging to do on this continent, but... Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying this continent. I mean the restaurant afterwards. Oh, absolutely. Yes, I will. Yeah. My treat. My treat, little one. Okay. Okay. Uh, that, that works for me. I'll give you a cookie afterwards as well. Dessert's always good. We can even have a cookie before. That sounds wonderful. Um, Alice, uh, I was wondering, is there anything more you can tell us about uh, your acquaintance, Histon? You know Histon as well? <laughs> Not on friendly terms. I, I, uh, I, I should... Wow. So I, I did you did did you do you know where Abigail went, Alice? Yes, I where know I, where Abigail went. Oh, okay. Uh, that I, well, it would be great to hear because I know that Marcus is also looking for Abigail, and it would be good to see Abigail. Why? Well, I mean, I, I want to know that uh, what happened with the portals, because I mean that old lady was not nice. No, she wasn't. Well, see, look, you even agree. So, yeah, so it must, it's one of those things where, uh, yeah, you know, there, there's differences. But at the end of the day, Ab Abigail obviously was was the person who also enjoyed doing pranks like me. So, can't be all that bad. Uh, 
The portal should be open, but not accessible, from what I understand. Where are we trying to go with the portal? Where does the portal go to? No, I, I, you said you knew where Abigail was, and then you said something about a portal, but why? what do we need a portal for? To get off Gesheo. Oh, yeah, so that's a little weird. There's, like, something funky going on with the surroundings. If it wasn't, like, oh, look at the stuff here going on, I could be like, oh, let's get off, and I could take it, but uh, there's something funky going on with the atmosphere. That's why we're trying to open a portal. Well, I can open portals. It's not a normal portal. Oh. What's special about it? It stays open long enough for others to go through. I should know. I, I, I but how does it I get bypass the... the... You went through it. How yes, does it bypass yes. the? How does it bypass the wonkiness if it's if it goes out of Gesheo? Some powerful magic was um, used in creating it. Um, dark stuff would not recommend it. Oh, um, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I I found it when I was searching through Histon's lab and. I took a peek through, uh, stepped through, hopped back in. Um, the weather in Adania is quite nice this time of year. <sighs> Much better than this place. Um, but yeah, it is stable. It is open. Uh, I say we find the others. Uh, rescue um, Abigail's sister. Uh, find Histon. And uh, return and, and exit through the portal as, as quick as possible. Ab Abigail has a sister. Uh, yes, yes, she does. Uh, Alice is looking for, for her as well. Uh, Since when does Abigail have a sister? I, I would imagine since story. birth of... Uh, yeah, I, I, oh wow who would have guessed that that the person is like it's not a, just a sister all of a sudden i get how how siblings are albarian it's more like why why did none of us know how do you know about this none of us knew about the sister alice was aware of the situation did you know and... abigail before this no, I did not. Um, Alice, you know Abigail before Mr. this? Wellington, just... Hmm. I know you're intelligent. Think for a quick second. <laughs> when he's looking at him, is it, does, it, does it click? After a nat one? <laughs> Super epic nat one. <laughs> I'm just asking. It's, <laughs> she he's looks looking at, so he's like... different, and her voice is even different because she's depressed. Um, <laughs> so... Depressed, <laughs> younger, and human. Yeah. Um... I mean, well, what am I thinking about, Alice? Yeah, it, it's this, this, this strange <laughs> pink and yellow dressed individual with completely different longer hair looks nothing like Abigail. Um, it's just not, you know, it's not clicking. <laughs> what what are we thinking about, Alice? If you had I rolled at it. least decent, then I would say it would, something would click, but no. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Is this a joke? <laughs> it's not really funny. Well, I, I, I mean, I like, I, I, I like... I like telling jokes and I like pranking, but I don't know what the joke is supposed to be. It, uh, sometimes I know that I don't always get things. Uh, I don't know if you have met Marcus or uh, or the others, but uh, they would say things and I wouldn't always understand. And then they would tell me it's for big boys. Um, so um, 
you, you might if if it there's a joke that I'm not getting, you might have to explain it to me. Now we can all laugh together. I've met Marcus and you were there when I met Marcus. I uh, Since when? This is my this is my first time meeting you. No. It's not. But I don't remember you from the ship. You do. You just don't recognize me. Why not then? Did you wear a costume? I don't remember people wearing costumes on the ship. I think all of us kids would have really enjoyed a costume person, but there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he's so he's just he, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. <laughs> You're no. very cute, but you also definitely tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> stay like this. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is this is interacting with a puppy with a knife. Yep. <laughs> nice puppy. But with no, no, intent, a though. puppy that has the ability to grow a, a a humanoid arm and hand that holds a knife. <laughs> like that's grotesque horror, but you're still very cute. That reminds me of something I needed to share with you guys. What? No. I am so afraid. I so I wait, certainly so, hope this is more yet found content because so, so so wait where where is it, wait where I'm very confused. Where did we meet? He's really just like his his legs and arms are just spread out, kind of like. <laughs> so Wellington, it's yes. Abigail. <laughs> now, see now, now, now that's a joke. You don't look anything like Abigail. I know. So where did I meet Abigail then? You threw a fucking spell at her. When? I don't know, like the night after the ship crashed? Marcus was there. Okay, he was yeah. Wait, how, what the? the time. I'm got... eh, eh. This doesn't make sense. I mean, I, 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 I jokingly said that it could be something to men. Imagine what if she got turned into like human as like punishment, but like to Marcus, but like this is this is something else, man. Man, you really went from like really dark to vibrant colors. Like, what changed? You look happy. Well, no, you don't. But <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves now. Right, um, you're wearing really happy colors. It's what I could find. Okay. So, so then, like. What was going on with those portals? Because that 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 then you were there when when his son was like was like you should give me the book. It's gonna help people get off the island. Uh, and you have a sister. I have a sister. Man, Eastern... you think you know somebody, and then they show up all in the flesh. Like, actually, real-life flesh. Not dead flesh. 
Oops, Sir Billington. Don't push it, okay? Okay. So now that you're alive, does it mean you like kids more? Yeah. I don't think that's how it works. That that definitely is not how it works. I don't think it makes any difference. Oh, okay. So you had, I think you had one of my cookies before and you just had another cookie. Like, does it taste different for you now? That's a valid question. You feel like you need it more. Man, I, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm alive because I would, I would hate not feeling the need for cookies. Ha! Well, I'm glad you're glad you're alive. Well, I'm glad you're alive too. It's good to see someone that I've been spent more time with that I recognize. Hey, what happened to to the to the demon cat you had? That thing was not nice. <laughs> what did happen to boy? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, we lost track of boy. Oh, he, 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 goes, he goes like he, he goes like this li like lifts up the the his, the collar of the uh hawaiian shirt and you see the two <laughs> the other tunic underneath and snickers head just pokes out he pulls him out he's like oh you can hold on to snickers for now if you want if you need a a uh comfort make, make companion a perception check everyone everyone all everyone two all two of you all two of us we literally have this party split in half right now Queen. Oh, 24. This is how 13. you see PK people. 13. You 24. notice a massive meteor about 30 seconds from hitting no. you. Hey, yo. <laughs> you at once. Yo. Well, we gotta do it again. Well, 30 seconds is, is five rounds, so we good. Damn it. Yeah, about six seconds <laughs> out from hitting you. Let's get... Hey, yo. Three seconds out from hitting you. Only one of you gets a turn. I'm kidding. Okay. It's Sir um, Wellington. No, it's Abigail. Abigail okay. gets the turn. Dang it! <laughs> I know what you're capable of. Um, yeah, you do. Okay, so what was what was your perce perceptions again? 13. 24. I think Abigail had... 24? 24. I was going to say um, Abigail, you noticed that boy has been following you ever since you left the castle. <laughs> What the fuck? This is, he's just darting from shade to shade, uh, from shadow to shadow in in the night, and um, you you look around and you you know cats, so you like know what all of a sudden you just see these two glowing eyes staring back at you from one of the shadows. Can't see anything else of him because he's pitch black, but you just see these two glowing eyes. Sir Wellington, as far as you know, boy is gone. <laughs> Man, because you know that cat, he just, it just did not understand and would not listen to the fact that I misheard his name, and it was just rude. How do you mishear boy? It's three, it's three letters. No, he told me his actual name. I still don't understand why you insist that his actual name is not boy. But, but like. The, the, like Snickers told me his name and it was Snickers and 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 you know when when you talk to animals and they tell you what their name is like my mother told me what my name was and it is Abigail yeah I didn't start like arguing that okay like, that's just my name okay and your point being what his name is boy but did you ask him what his name was I'm his mother. I'm giving him his name. You gave birth to that cat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, new favorite duo. New favorite duo. <laughs> in when the you're both moment, chaotic in different directions, right? In the, <laughs> in the magical sense, yes. What? Well, I didn't give birth to Snickers, but when he came to, I asked him what his name was, and he told me it was Snickers, and so I so I call him Snickers. 
So why why did you not ask if you if you summoned if you summoned boy? It's been long enough. I don't even remember his actual name now. But it was it was something long. And it, but it, did you why did you not ask him? You do you just look at people and you say assume hey look that is Scratchy Beard over there. I'm gonna call him Scratchy Beard. And then he tells you his name's Steven, but you just insist on calling him Scratchy Beard. This is a different situation. It's like, Ow. okay, like when you hold a child, your child, or when you find something like a little baby, something like, I don't know, a rat, you name them. Yeah, if it's a rat, I ask him its name. Do you not ask the animals that you meet their names? Not if they're like my animals. You named them, Abigail. I think that, that's really rude. Is their mothers gave them names at birth? Yeah, their own but whatever I'm animal the... speak is. Uh, so Perfect. technically, I guess that would make yeah, you there. Okay, um, okay. So here's here's my mother? question. When boy was yelling at me, did you not hear what he was? What boy was yelling? Uh, yes, I heard. It was like meow, meow. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Wait, can you understand this? And he leans over and he starts talking to Snickers. He goes, "So how's it going?" And and, and you start to hear like little like squirrel sounds coming out of his mouth. We squeak, squeak, squeak. And then he turns back to. I don't know. <laughs> did did you did you know it was Abigail at first? He, he, he looks at Snickers. Did Snickers know? Snickers just kind of. I mean, uh, well, um, uh, well, uh, um, uh, I mean, she 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 smelled similar. But I thought okay. more like a uh, distant cousin. <laughs> uh, that's fair. That's fair. I can I can understand that. He looks back at Abigail. Did you understand what our conversation was just now? You're talking to yourself. What? No, I asked him if he knew who you were, and he said you smell like a like you sound kind of similar, but you look smell like a distant cousin to Abigail more than anything because I guess now your human body, okay. like so real life Wellington, body, I think is you different. Spend too much time on this island, I get it. I think you need to talk Does to someone Abigail believe who is Drew not is me. Aren't real. Druids <laughs> aren't real. <laughs> they're, 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 a big they're a figment of our imagination. She, she sees a wizard talking to animals, and she's like, "Oh, that's that's just a, a wizard school dropout who's lost their mind for too many years in the woods." This is someone who mm. needs to go to therapy or something. I don't know. Okay, to be go fair, to therapy, if you, a hippie. Oh my gosh, if hilarious. you only exist in nature for long enough. You go slightly insane. Whether that insanity grants you the power to talk to animals, we don't know. Also, like, vampires and druids have beef. <laughs> Undead and druids have beef all the time. I was about to say, that is kind of true. Yeah. I mean, so, like, I, mean I understand. Yeah. They, like, especially, they can bond over it. It's medium, medium rare or rare stakes. Like, they both Corinne are going to love, love them. Corinne loves you. Just know that. No huh? matter what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sequel to this game, um, we need to have like a redemption arc for Sir Wellington and either either no redemption and we have like this duel between Corin and and Proteus, or we have a redemption arc and Sir Wellington becomes best friends with Corin or something in a future campaign. Corin would campaign become two best concept. friends with him. Because she's weird. She is. Very that would be weird. a weird campaign, though, because we will be starting the campaign with everyone at level twenty. 
Yeah. At the rate we're going, that we're going to end this campaign at that point anyway, so it's Probably, fine. Yeah, that's true, actually. I mean, Marth would be closer to level 20 if he got some level some leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> not bitter, not bitter, not bitter, not bitter. Cough, cough. Wink, cough, wink, cough. nudge, nudge. Yeah. Right. <laughs> My man deserves like three levels for killing 100 people. <laughs> So, anyways, creatures. He, just, he just look. He just looks at Abigail, and then he looks over at Oliver. So, where are we going, anyways? Um, we're not quite sure, actually. Uh, we were going to head to assist the people that were fighting a uh, some sort of demonic entity down at that castle, but. Well, it seems the uh, the entity won, as there does not appear to be any signs of struggle there anymore. Does, does it, it or does it mean, or does it mean that they won? Unlikely, as we would see a large carcass um, there. Oh, I did tell so, Abigail did tell Alberion that there was a banishment spell specifically. She was like, Oh, oh she did. A, yeah, and she was like impressed. She complimented oh, the caster. Okay, and we it made a joke because it, it, it was Marcus. <laughs> Um, well, it appears they uh, they banished the being. Um, so, man, what's with this place and people in banishment? It's an effective spell against uh, demonic beings. It's effective against me, I guess. Oh, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I, we can we can still work on traveling there, and um, how long is it going to take? Potentially forming an alliance. It will take, uh, it's going to take a few days. Can they see it off in the distance? Yeah. Can I just take us there? Have you ever been there? I can see it. Um, yes, but, um. Okay, everyone, hold on to me. He's wait. He he's waiting there like this, and he pull he pulls out his he pulls out his book. Yeah. Um. There's a lot of lava there. If you misplace us by so much as a foot, more than one of us could be instantly incinerated. But I'm not seeing lava where I'm looking. I don't care. She grabs to Wellington. I'm not entirely sure that's how that works have you, any of you been to the castle no nope. hmm. you just want to go at the foot of the mountain then that would probably be more effective yes uh, we would then only be a few hours away okay we'll do that Yes, let's let's can, do can, can he can I kind of see the foot of the mountain from oh, here? Easily, yeah, you can see the foot okay. of the mountain. He it's... flips open the book, what smacks it in his head. All right, who's ready to go? Ready. Ready let's as I'll ever be. I guess I'm ready. I uh, let's go find some um, allies. He's mm. gonna I'm I'm gonna go ahead and cast teleport with those around us. All right. Um and go to the foot of the mountain. As you guys blip over, um, we pan back to the combat uh, with Marcus's turn. Okay, how are the other people looking? The... Everyone's looking a lot better now. Um, the demons are getting pretty effectively beaten down at this point. Everyone's fighting back. Um, okay. They were not expecting this much resistance, especially after Proteus's effective... Spell. All right. Uh, can he see the big demon that's attacking uh, Callie right now? Yes. Oh, that reminds me. Callie, the big demon hit you for uh, 10 points of damage last round. Hell yeah. Would have been two of them attacking you, but uh, one's now headless. Okay. You can uh, one say free one, trial of living has say expired. One yeah, one took a one look at Callie and then just lost his head. Okay, so he is gonna hit that. She's kind of hot. The, yeah, she's on fire. She's anyway. literally a 
flaming raging lesbian. Okay. We love our literal flaming raging lesbian. Yep. We love so, our raging gay. Oh yeah. yeah. He is going to uh, shoot a level three guiding bolt at that thing. All right. Uh, that is that is a unnatural twenty. That hits. Okay. Doesn't that give advantage to the next attack or something? Yeah, it, it does. gives advantage until the end of the turn, I think. Yeah, Ooh. until the end of the next turn. Next uh, round? Before the end of your next... No, before the end of your next turn. Yeah, so that's for a whole round. So oh, yeah, 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 sorry. And that's 20 radiant damage to the demon. He's looking rough. Real rough. So, yeah, he just basically sees the fact that Sorsha kills one of the demons and sees that this one is uh, determined to just hit uh, his surrogate daughter, so he's going to go full dad mode on him and just... Nice. I should also mention, Callie, you dodged three of the four attacks that demon had against you. Nice. Um, We have questionable t uh, taste in what my AC is. The what? Well, I have your AC right here. Okay. If you, if you know. I ha I have it pulled up. Okay. And then... He rolled really poorly. Damn. <laughs> Man, Marcus is running low on spells right now. Yeah, as a, if I'm not mistaken, your AC is 16, correct? It is, in fact, 16. Yeah. Yeah, his rolls to hit were a 9, a 12, a 13, and then a 21. Oh. Listen, what can I do? I'm not a spellcaster in any sense. I got a high AC. <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to do that. Then he's going to move forward to help uh, get rid of more of the... Oh, I'm sorry, a 10. Not nine. Creature, so he'll go with the group and make sure that uh, his uh, celestial... His spirit guardians are protecting the ones on the ground and the ones that are fighting. All right. So, Perfect. yeah, any other things caught in there besides them will have to make a wisdom saving throw. And then, yeah, he can't really do much else because he is running low on spells. So let's just say that's his turn. All right. That brings us to Callie. <laughs> Callie, you have just successfully dodged three out of the four attacks this thing had uh, had against you. Um, and uh, then they got hit by a, a blast from Marcus that seems to have brought it to the brink. Um, the Chimans? Chil Demons? Um, Chimans? The Kidamons. Don't hurt yourself now. <laughs> The Kidemons. Yeah, the oh, yeah. Kidemons. I like Do it. I hurt any more with that, or are they all pretty far away? Um, No, they're they're charging right in to try and finish off the wounded, so I need What's to make a roll saving? for another eight. Yeah, uh, 17 is the DC. Yeah, no, they, they fail. Okay. They don't have that good of wisdom. So... They take 19 radiant damage. Yeah, they dead. They are very oh, dead. Shit. <laughs> These, they, they still have the AC of NPC kids. Very low. Marcus just racking up the kills. It's boosted only a little bit by their new fiendish nature. <coughs> but not that much. Um, so yes. Um, Callie, it is your turn. Would you like to destroy? We have one mode, and it is rage, and it is carnage. And 16 to hit. If that hits, it meets it, it beats it. Excellent. You also get to roll with Damn. advantage, so see if you crit. That is okay. true. You do get advantage on your attack. All Ooh, of your attacks. A 22, so what? whatever. Perfect. Whatever. Whatever. You know it. So that, that one you is... Get a, you get advantage on all of your attacks this round. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, that is eight points of damage. Okay. For that one. And then we... How do hit... you want to do that? <laughs> you had seven left. Oh, excellent. <laughs> it's with the axe. The axe is flaming. 
So we are going to not be outdone and decapitate the other one. Hey, shall I say, doesn't this mean you get a free attack? It does certainly mean I get a free attack. <laughs> also at advantage. <laughs> but we're going to use my second attack. I'm just going to be sitting for a while because monk is, bards are broken. <laughs> that is great. Do it. Hit them so, hard. Hold, please. We're going to try for a crit. Not the crit. It was a 24 to hit another one. That very much hits. So you're going great. after the Kadimans now, right? Yep. We're just full on busting a move. That's nine damage to them. All right. Um, there we go. Hang on. Got to see how much their HP is. I know it's low. Yeah, no, they have 8 HP. Um, that's sad. Um, yeah, no, that'll do it. <laughs> cool. Uh, a 12 to hit another one. Yeah, that hits. Give them, ooh, 13 points of damage. That very much does it. Yep, and then Flurry of Blows. Oh, a 15 to hit. Uh, yep, that hits. Gives um, 11 points of damage. And then again, well, damn. That's a 27 to hit. Too hot. Hot damn. Hot damn. I should uh, mention, ah. uh, you have an incomplete feat on Kelly's sheet. <gasps> what? Yeah, fighting Seriously? initiate. You never made a choice for the fighting style. Oh. Okay, we'll go fix that in a second. Yeah. Um, so you know, so you're about to be able to do even more combat stuff. Hell yeah. I think well, this is what... Uh, obviously this is don't what... have a foot fetish. Monk bards are stupid. Because you have an incomplete feat. Ha ha ha. Stop it. <laughs> You're unnoticed. Or you just look things up on Internet Explorer. Because it never finishes what? loading. What? Okay, you know what? I'll just. What? Hang on. There's a meme for that. I will okay. explain. There's a meme for everything. Markham, take seven points of damage. You personally, as a DM. <laughs> Rude. We're damaging you. you. <laughs> For Internet Explorer joke. I have been hurt. Good. <laughs> that was the there intent. Let me go look at this sick-ass feet. <laughs> Ian, Ian, stop it. Stop it. Hell. Stop it. This is what this, I mean. The, the, this this was my happy purchase yesterday, by the way. Okay. Where it, are it's my it, feet? it's licorice. Oh. I didn't know trolley did licorice. I found the ah. dish. But looks delicious. I love black licorice. Ah, when did I get this? I think that was uh, what's his name, with the uh, the were demons, who Be attempted to uh, who attempted to te who taught Callie some. Oh yeah, my other methods. dad that ended up kidnapping me. <laughs> kidnapping you to save your life, so. Yeah, well, I don't know that. Yeah, you do. All I know is that he kidnapped me. The horse told you, remember. For all I know, that horse could have been the one to save me. It's the horse, of course, of course. <laughs> the horse said it was him. Can you talk to animals, too? Wait! So then at this logic, hold the fuck on. I'm get Wait, did all of them, the ones that I hit die? Yes. Okay. Then this means nothing. What do you mean? Because I chose the the fighting initiate great weapon fighting because it makes sense. I used a giant axe. I'm a tiny girl with a giant axe. 
Okay. So I can re-roll ones or twos on damage die. Did you roll a one or a two? I did. Go, that, ahead. Um, Go ahead and re-roll it. Just for extra carnage. Just for extra carnage. <laughs> it was the flurry of blows. There's oh! Carnage that, went, that went from, from a fucking... 7 to a 12. Oh, 7 wouldn't have killed him. So, yeah. 12, 12 damage. 12, 12 kills him. Effective. Excellent. Um, how many... I hit four times, and I got four bodies. That's impressive. Flurry of Lows only was one attack? No, Flurry of Lows is two attacks. Oh, so you're telling you me you should have hit again. attacked five times because you also had the free attack for killing someone. Okay, well I'm gonna hit again <laughs> with the with the. All right, you gotta tell me twice. Move, please. You should so change my yourself, button. Selk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna. My players cheat, but it's in the opposite direction. They handicap themselves when they don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> so That's I'm always 20... like, hang on. <laughs> Twenty-one to hit. Yeah, that hits. 11 points of damage. Yep, that's a kill. Five, five hits, five bodies. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Sorsha decapitates one. Callie's like, I can do that too. Decapitates uh, one I and can... then proceeds to kill four more. <laughs> Is it, Does Callie have a crush on Marcus? Is she trying to compete? <laughs> ah, that's my dad. <laughs> that is, I am her father. <laughs> that's my dad. But we are a little firecracker. Yeah, but I mean, you also have like the same age gap as um, April <laughs> and uh, Andy Careful. from Parks and Rec. So, wait, what? No. Yeah, but that's still different. Okay. If you they're at least when... both adults. Yeah, the exactly. I know, I exactly. Know. <laughs> Could someone tell that to my neighborhood, please? There was a uh -huh. gossip train going around while I was growing up among the moms of God. the local school system. They're like, so I think that that's, I mean, you know, that's the thing. But anyhow, it, one of the moms had approved, one of the, well, parents had approved for their 12-year-old to date a 21-year-old. Because it was, what? you know, within a certain age gap. But I'm like, yeah, but doesn't how old they are when they're dating also matter? Yeah. That's... I think I think they, they had a rule of you can date anyone as long as they're not 10 years older or younger than you. That's literally. But it's like, maybe yeah, you should anyways. amend that to once you're over 18. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's literally that... criminal. But anyways. That, no. <laughs> Even no. even the area of an 18 year old dating a 16 year old actually with written yeah. parental permission really it weird. technically is bypassed. I understand that, area. but it gets into a weird weird area. Yeah, yeah, does, we definitely yeah. get into like the 32 states where child marriage is still legal. Yeah, you want to know the really weird thing? Technically, the the age of consent in Japan at a national level is still 12. That's true. Gross. Uh, it is yes, not sir. that in any prefecture, like every prefecture, it is like, I think it's like 18 or something like that. Um, but they just haven't changed it from way back in the day, like in like feudal Japan times, like those laws. Oh, wow. yeah. Whenever the life expectancy was like 40. Yeah. 30, 20. And you kind of had no choice. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, people are all like, oh my gosh, they had a 12-year-old king and he was married? Well, yeah, their life expectancy was 20 years. He was middle-aged yeah, at that also point. Yeah, also the <laughs> thing that people forget is the fact that Mary, when she had Jesus, was probably around 13 or 14. Yeah, probably. 14, yeah. Gene. Well, finally. I mean, at least, you know, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Westeros logic, yes. <laughs> but don't worry. Okay, yeah. No, Callie's... Cal <laughs> Sorsha will look at... Sorsha anyway, will look at Callie dad. like a proud mama looks at her kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she is just full of rage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And you're like, rage! Her hair, her hair is like, on ah! full blue. Ooh. 
like is which it is almost what I like look- a white it's like well, bluish white because in my mind cali is based off of propane fire right Ooh, where it's like most yes. it's got the orange the yellow and like a little bit of blue Ooh. she is very blue <laughs> <laughs> i love it i love your giggle mark <laughs> <laughs> i want to see art of this someday I will. uh eventually i might, I might draw a raged out cali and Do make it. her full blue with just like the Do battle it. axe cleaving through five heads <laughs> yes that I already have such a long list of things I need to draw. Don't add to it. <laughs> no, we always add to it. We're artists. Oh, exactly. Uh, I, uh, I'm not. A not artist. this. Not this project with Three over twenty of the five different of us here are artists. You're talking to someone who did probably like fifty art pieces within a four month period. I'm really yeah, proud of you, but that that's all yeah. that stresses me out. <laughs> It was, it was it was for the Mr. cantrip Perry. it was for the cantrip cast for the D and D books I illustrated. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'll, that's that'll crazy. do it. It's impressive. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's technically, great. Matt, you and I are artists too. We just our art is with words. Facts. That is, that is being an that is 100%. being an artist still. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I guess that is true. Yeah, I I did <laughs> I did apparently make you cry with that song I wrote for Terrell. So it's true. Anywho. So, yeah, um, Sorry, let's not see. Sorry uh, uh, we're gonna go since we, since uh, Abigail and Sir Wellington end up talking for a little bit longer, um, we'll go for another round of combat <laughs> because right. you guys are just about ready to clean house. There's about six left. They're not retreating. All right. Uh, how close, I guess, is the. I mean, the other. it's a small enough room. Anywhere you move in it is within range. Okay. Can can we can I walk up to it with my spirit guardians? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, they're currently trying to. They've they've learned their <laughs> lesson and are now trying to finish off. Well, you left the spirit guardians behind, I recall, right? No. No, they're they walk with him. What they're centered leave? on Marcus. What did you but leave they to him. protect the um, wounded then? Oh, the wounded by the door? Yeah. Not really anything. Oh, I thought you left their spirit. Well, in that case, no, he, he changed. No, he went backward to kill the demons that were near the wounded. Oh, okay. In that case. Okay. In that case. Yeah, that's okay, the, one of the first things plans. he did. He casted spirit guardians and moved back no, to no, no, the. No, no, no. I meant after your last turn. I thought you said you left something to try and catch them as they came to kill the rest of the wounded. No, right now Marcus is currently surrounding the uh, twelve that are still alive. Still up. Oh, and in that case, I have to amend are... it. There are thirteen still alive because the eight that I thought were caught in your spirit guardians weren't right there. They were they were going back after the wounded that you had just resuscitated. Oh, and if they're not under your protection, then they're they're just going after them. Okay, yeah, no, he's going to go back to Which the also means guys. they're back to death saves. <laughs> okay, uh, he's definitely going to go back to defend those guys then. So, okay, so now whoop. I'll just use... Okay, uh, yeah. All those demons are going to have to make uh, saving throws. All right. Uh, the Okay, well, those eight fail. Okay, let me just roll that damage really quick. That is 20. Holy shit. That is 24. Holy shit. Did you die at 20? No, that's a 24. For... Oh, I thought you said 44. Oh, no, no, no. 24 radiant damage. Okay. <laughs> that's still... you. <coughs> they scream in agony as they turn to ash. Okay, and then... And their voices sound un... unnaturally demonic, but also eerily just like the kids that they are he will chan he will say in celestial uh rest in peace and find uh 
rest in the next life. And then how many people in front of him need to be healed? Uh, eight. One for each of the ones that we're attacking. Okay, and then... They're all on death the, saves. And then what of the wounded ones? Are they still? Oh, no, 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 no. So, <coughs> um... So... Yeah, yeah, um, uh, of the wounded ones, they're all looking a lot better. After the okay. he- hit points you put into them, they're all looking okay, and they haven't been hit by anything, thanks to to Callie, and the fact that the de- smaller the smaller demons are are well the the kittymans are are targeting the on death store ones first, the ones Fair who are already enough. lying on the ground. Um, let me just see really quick. How many do that? Only six? Are you serious? Mother trucker, okay. All right, so there are six left now. So, okay. Let me actually do something really quick. Because I need to see what Joe and Divinity... I need to amend that again. Because I, I forgot about the others. So eight plus six is 14. So there are 14 on Death's Door. Uh, 14 on death saves because they attacked okay. 14. No. Math. There are 12 because there were 12 that were down like that. So yeah, okay, all so... 12 are back on death saves. Okay. So and then the other got... two ran up and are attacking Sorcia's group. So he's going to do Channel Divinity again. Uh, since, yeah, he can't really do the undead one. And he's going to give 12 hit points uh, dispersed between the 12. So all 12 get one hit point, so they don't have to make base death saving throws. So that leaves 38. Uh, how's Callie looking? Uh, a little less than half. Well, it's enough. Okay, so 38. Uh, she will get 14 points of health. Fuck yeah. And then... Still a little less than half. Uh, is anyone else we're... currently in combat? No, we're fine right now. Um, <laughs> Sorsha's group is... How are, how are the people of Sorsha's group looking? Uh, better than the ones in your group. Uh, when I said they're looking better... Um, Sorcerer's group doesn't really look more than like minor cuts and bruises. Um, they were just recently captured. Um, okay. Uh, and they were smart to not put up too much of a fight just because they were so outnumbered. Uh, the the other uh the other eight members of your group that are still standing are all at about half health. Okay. Uh, how many of our group then? I guess eight. There's still eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll give. Uh, <coughs> I'll give two hit points to seven of them, and then one to one, just because fourteen points left. That's wait, no. Hey, hold on, how many were there again? Eight? Eight. Okay, he'll just take... I hate math so much. Um, he'll just give seven to two of the weakest looking ones. Okay. That works. That definitely helps them. And yeah, that is the end of my turn. All right, Callie, it's back to your turn. Excellent. There are Combat. six demons left. Kidemons. Yeah, I can only hit five times. This is bullshit. I know, right? Oh, wait. Uh-huh. I never gave the NPCs their turn. Um, You might be able to get to clean house for the, the rest of them. Combat. Because, yeah, the NPCs Ow. didn't go last time, so I'll pick that up. Uh, let's see. Sorsha's group. 
yeah, no, they easily d dispatch the two Kadimans that charged them. Um, one of the unharmed members of your group, so there were four members of your group that were not harmed at all. They were far enough back, or they did something with magic or something, but they were not harmed by Proteus's attack. Um, one of them is that that little girl, um, whatever her name is, Noname. Um, oh, the annoying one? No, not not the annoying one. Uh, there was a very oh. little girl that the, you guys rescued. Oh, um, wait, the one that did, like, the flame thing to Marcus, and he's like, all right, cool. Yeah. Um, there we go. This one. This one, Tagger. Um, Allison Naname. She is going to... <laughs> she is going to cast uh, Chain Lightning. Oh, shit. Um, she is going to utter something in a language. Uh, what languages do you two know? Uh, Common, Dwarvish, Infernal, and Primordial. Uh, Celestial, Common, Dwarvish, and Elvish. Okay, yeah, this is a language you guys don't know. Have we heard it before? Is it Abyssal? Nope. Damn. You have worth a shot. Possibly heard it before. It's an uh, archaic dialect. Um, it sounds like you know, kind of like if someone's speaking ancient Greek and you know just enough modern Greek to be like, that sounds like it might be a language I know. Okay. Maybe. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, it's like, what, it you, it, what? It is, is definitely it Sylvan? not Sylvan. No. Um. It's going to be very confused. Yeah. Um, I'm, I think Abigail and Sir Wellington would know it ironically. Um, oh, all right. The two who aren't here. Anyhow, she has a word, casts chain lightning and. No, Sir Wellington would. Yeah, she turns uh, four Kadimans into charred crisps. Um, there is. All right. Did you like that. some Kadiman tenders with that? <laughs> <laughs> um, there are there are two Kadimans left. Callie, it's all yours. <laughs> Excellent. I could just do this with just my axe. I don't even need Floria Blows. You don't even blows, need the Floria Blows this time. You could do that it. just to beat a dead horse. Do I still get advantage? Oh, no. That's worn off now. It's only one round. Yeah. Damn. I might need Floria Blows. That's only a 13 to hit. That hits. Oh, excellent. They don't have that high of an AC. They're Yeet. unarmored. 12 kids. points of damage. That does it. Excellent. Gonna hit them again. Roll a Ooh, nat 20. <laughs> Ooh. Nat 20. Beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. That is 15 points of damage. Slice and dice. Can you roll a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Can I roll a wisdom saving throw? Mm hmm. 12. Twelve. Yeah. Um, you have trauma. Well, we knew this. <laughs> As, um, this she was a candle. This little girl that you recognize from playing with, um, first on the ship and then on shore and stuff, um, pranks galore and stuff. Um, looks up at you. With these terror-filled eyes, as you bring your axe down, and it's a mercy kill. Let's be a hundred percent. Yeah, but you still have her <laughs> wide, blinking eyes just staring at you in terror as it happens. For a moment, you remember what they once were. Mm -hmm. So, if there were insanity points in this game, I would be dishing them out right now. No, I've already got plenty of the other game things. 
thing. I mean, you could always make it a thing. You know, maybe I will. Isn't there? Isn't there? Isn't that there is, a sanity an, a sanity Cthulhu. mechanic in D anD D? That is Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah. there there is because it's in Curse of Strahd. Curse of Strahd too. Yeah, Curse of Strahd and uh, and uh, well, Cthulhu is uh, kind of different. Well, Cthulhu yeah, is I its mean, own game. It's not D anD D. Call of Cthulhu is. I no, thought it's... it was made by the same people. No, it is its own game. Oh, really? It is a different that. mechanic. It's a it's a roll under system like Kralis is. Yeah, but you that. use like a shit ton of d6s. Ooh. Okay. Um. Well, combat is over. Uh. You Great. have su successfully dispatched the last of your little friends. Destroy them. What would y'all like to do? What's Marcus doing? I haven't looked at. Oh, yeah, I know. He is not doing well. So after he uh, heals the people in combat ends, and just because he took such a large amount of damage in such a short amount of time. As soon as he's able to relax, he just kind of gets down on one knee from the pain. As because if I remember correctly, he got Ian's attack was like fire, right? Or what was no. it? Huh? Lightning, my I my thought. my attack? Yeah. yeah. What was it? What damage was the, it? I forgot. The, the one that I did necrotic. It, oh, I, necrotic. I, okay. it, it it absorbed moisture. It like just sucked out moisture from the body. Oh, essentially, yeah. that's oh, so what you're it just does. severely dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. No. It just. It just. That's what it does. It basically. Uh, m the people who di fully him? died. The people who fully died are probably essentially mummified. Yeah. Did you blight him? Is that what you did? Uh. You it was uh, something wilting, morbid wilting, oh. or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Abu Dhabi I... wilting. <laughs> Let's see. What? Well, Albazim's be... something wilting. Something, something, something. Horde with not see. Okay, so it doesn't, because I was wondering, because I'm like, wait a minute. So he isn't coughing up blood at this point, because I don't think the hydration. It was Abi Dalzim's horde wilting. But he is, he just is not breathing exactly right, and he is just trying to keep himself steady. He goes, eh, is is everyone? <sighs> Is everyone all right? That is, ah, gods. <sighs> any, any side on <sighs> Sir Wellington or whoever the fuck he is? Little bastard, Tolbert. All right. I'm aware. He, Fine little he shit. went through that door there. Allison is like pointing excitedly at the door up ahead that is closed. Even if he didn't teleport, he's probably gone by now. And he's going to strain himself as he just moves to get up. How, how many are left? And he's just going to look around. And we lost see. about... um. 14, one of the uh, survivors will say, is he's helping up the more severely wounded. And uh, we got another 12 that are severely injured. Barely conscious. If that, and he's like trying to wake one of them up. Has it been over an hour, by chance? Since what? Since he casted the magic circle on the one cavern. Remember the one he used as like a basically to block the path of the demons? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. 
How long has it been, though? Has it been like 30 minutes, 20 15, minutes? 15, 20. Okay. So he's going to look back and go, that magic spell, that magic circle should still be up. <sighs> can Can we all move? More or less, yeah. Oh, all right. It may hurt, but we have to try to move because that magic circle ain't gonna hold for long. And we're in shit shape as it is. Uh, Sorsha is gonna go over. Callie, you you all right? When I find the kid, I'm punting him into the sun. I, that's that's a fair reaction. Um, but I'm fine. All right. You. you she's a little hurt. <laughs> she is a she, little she hurt. She checks she, on your injuries. She's, she's still like, blue. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll tend to those injuries in a bit. Um, we need to get going. Uh, we got we got three passageways here. Um, the one up ahead, and then one to the right, and one to the left. Will anyone have any votes on where to go first? The um, mm. uh, the, the that demon child thing, uh, went went through the the one dead ahead first. I don't did did I see which door he went through? Cause yeah, I was yeah him. yeah it was the one yeah. right in front of you. Uh, yeah, that, so we're gonna go that way. All right, it is locked. Not for long, motherfuckers. I'm still raging. Okay. I'm swinging my axe into it. Well, yeah, you don't even need I'm also for that. guessing you're at this point. If you're raging, your body's hot enough you could melt through melt the door. That's doorknob. true. <laughs> I true. am an eternal flame, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, you blast through that door without a problem. Callie has become Ruby. <laughs> and yep. in that room. It's it's like a smallish room, and at the other end there's what appears to be a mirror, but it's kind of like it's it's the the edge of what should be the glass is glowing, and you see through it another. It's like a a beautiful forest. That's fucking weird. I haven't seen foliage in a while. No, you haven't. Oh wait, did Callie say that out loud, or was that just Selkie? No, so uh, Selkie is there's fucking foliage. That's really fucking weird. Callie, however, is going to be what the what is this? Marcus will like look toward where Callie is and just try and head there. And go, hold on, let me see if I can take a look at it. What the? And yeah, can what can you roll to like figure out what the heck this is? Uh, Arcana. Okay. That's a plus one. Come on, buddy. Uh, that's an 11. An 11? You're not sure, but it's something magical, and that's definitely a portal. That, that's a... Uh, that's a portal. How is the hell is there a portal out to... Here. Uh, ooh, can I try and look and see if it has any... Demonic or celestial origin? Yes, you may. Oh, now you roll good. Uh, that is a okay. So not bad. That is a twelve. No, not a twelve. Twenty-two to religion. What? Um, it is uh neither. Um, if it's anything, it's probably closer to celestial. Oh, with the twenty-two. Okay, cool. He he'll look at it and just go. All right. Uh, I know that this is definitely a portal. That's obvious. Uh, I can't tell whether or not it's demonic or. No, no, no. It's obviously not demonic. It's, oh, it's also not, not celest. It's not like pure celestial, but it has like celestial-esque hints to it. Okay. So he will look and go, this might be celestial. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but it's definitely not demonic. I can say that. 
Can Callie make a religion? Sure. Cows? Monk shit. Proficient in religion. 18. Yeah. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's definitely not demonic. It's definitely not celestial. It's celestial offshoot. Celestial adjacent. Yeah, it's celestial Ooh. adjacent. I just ripped my shirt. Ooh la la. Y'all can't okay. see. <laughs> no, that's all right. So it's can fine. we see? Can we? See, what can we see through the portal? Um, it is a beautiful green forest. There are colorful butterflies kind of flittering around and birds in the trees. Uh, anything Marcus would recognize at all? I would say no. Okay. What about Callie? Because we I haven't was... put Callie's monastery anywhere particular. I would say also no, though. This is not a place either of you would recognize. Damn. With a shot. I uh, I don't know where this goes, but it can't be any worse than here. You want us to jump in this thing? I'm debating because if because we have two options, we can explore more of the island, possibly put more danger, put these people in danger. And then we got this thing right here. Wait a minute. Uh, would Marcus remember where that port, where those doors that Allie talked about to get out? Would he remember where that would be? What do you mean? Like when Allie gave him the vision of the temple, there was also like something about a door being a portal out of there. Or was that the one with the Celestia where Marcus got arrested? Oh, um, yeah, uh, that would presumably be where she was talking about. Uh, the door led to the celestial realm. Um, there. so that's definitely a no go. You know, that, okay. So rewind that. He'll go. So he won't add the boat. Wait a minute, moment. He'll just go. We either have. But this is obviously not to the celestial realm, so no chance of getting arrested. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, he'll go to look at how he go. We either got to go throughout this accursed island and try and find some other way, possibly losing more people, or we could try and go through the portal, maybe find some allies or something like that and see who we might be able to ask for help if whoever the fuck Sir Wellington is has any more plans. I doubt it's just going to be with Gashale. But I mean, this doesn't look like Gashale. And I want nothing more than to get off of this fucking island. So if this is a chance just to get off, I'm taking it. He's gonna look toward the rest of the group to see what they're sort of thinking about all this. Swarsha's so gonna shrug. I mean, it's not like we're leaving anyone behind. Everyone's either safe in Sanctuary um, Kieran's got a new girlfriend, and, um, or oh, they're not an ally. And I assume the rest just have the same feeling of, like, yeah. yeah. Well, no, most of them are actually like, why the fuck haven't you gone through already, you idiot? There's demons right on our heels. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Most of them are Fair. with Callie. They're like, this is a chance out. We're taking it and we'll steamroll you out of the way go. if we need to. We're following right. Fire Girl and we're taking you out if we need to. Um, <laughs> that is basically the vibe of pretty much everyone except Sorsha, who's more level headed. <laughs> <sighs> He's okay. He's gonna see all this, and maybe a couple of others who like might have family or friends that are over in sanctuary that they'd want to go back and get, but also realize that it wouldn't do any good if you know. Well, you know, they're dead and can't tell. If anyone. they're dead, yeah. 
Yeah, he's gonna see the general vibe and go. All right, I'll uh, I'll go first. Hopefully, I don't blow to pieces. Uh, he will like, kind of just look at the portal for a moment, briefly go over to Sorsha and give a kiss for good luck. As he does this, he hears cannonball, and Allison runs past and just cannonballs through it. What the <laughs> hell? We're going. He's he's gonna see this and go. Wait, 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 and like sort of like halfway dive, halfway run into the portal. <laughs> Callie's going in. Poor, poor Sorsha's still all puckered up. Just waiting. <laughs> well, I mean, like, he gave. All right. <laughs> he, he, wait, no, he gave. Oh, I he said did he give, gave. Yeah. He did give her a kiss and then ran. Okay, good. <laughs> then it's like, oh, wait, no, small child, stop. <laughs> so, yeah, he's jumping in the crowd. They're like, no, wait a minute. All right. Um, yeah, everyone else, the all, other NPCs all follow. Um, you guys are now in a new and mysterious land, just as Abigail and Sir Wellington arrive at the base of this castle to find their friends. Um, well, and that is where we will be leaving it off for this week. Uh, um, uh, next week we will be picking it up, and I will not reveal the title yet because that will spoil things. So, oh boy. thank you everyone for joining us. Naz, would you like to go first? My name is Naz. Uh, I play Abigail. Yeah, you do. I'm so proud. Play yeah. the heck out of Abigail. Um, let's jump to Abigail's new companion in mischief, Sir Wellington. Hi, I'm Ian. I play Sir Wellington. Your cute, lovable gnome buddy. Raider. Who is a demon? <laughs> doesn't refute it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Well, don't all jump up at once. I usually do the... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, go. Marcus since... is next. Yeah, Matt's next. <laughs> you know, I'll go since Selkie has to be a shill. Anyway. I gotta do plugs. Yeah, I know. Uh, Matt, play Marcus, who... Hopefully we'll be getting a little bit of an easier time, but with Markham, I highly doubt that. Probably gonna end up in something like the Feywild or something like that. That would oh, suck. We're <laughs> just not here. Yeah, this, is only <laughs> two years. this is only two years ago. She's still petrified. Yeah. Well, no, at this point, she just saved uh, Milo from Vladimir's yeah, castle. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that is where we are! Mm -hmm. So currently, Milo is pulling... <laughs> Corinne to safety. Calling, calling her a weirdo. Yep. It's true. This weirdo is, this girl's a weirdo, but this weirdo also saved me, so I gotta save her. This is my weirdo. And last but not least, uh, Selkie, do the sex thing. <laughs> what? Do the sex thing. <laughs> <laughs> Plugs. What? Sorry. Um, I guess I need to explain that now. My big, my birds and bees talk was my dad uh -huh. sitting me down. We both had a pipe and he was like, I was in late high school and he was like, so son, you know how to plug in a lamp, right? And I'm like, yeah, well, your mom said I need to give you a talk. And, um, it's like plugging in a lamp. And then we went back to smoking. And that was it. <laughs> that was your, you that was, your, that the was my talk. And bees talk talking with your father over smoking. I That's wish that was mine. mine was amazing. Like, that was a lot more awkward. See, my birds in the bees was talk good was old strictly I went to pipes. public school. <sighs> that was it. I simply had access to the internet, and I went to public school. Yeah, that's... No. Oh, we are also on a boat. I should add that. Of course you were. You're so Floridian at her. I'm on a boat. <laughs> Any whore. But yeah. Um, I so yes, am. The plug told, you wait your turn. You wait your turn. I'm talking now. <laughs> <laughs> I am selfie to the internet. I almost said Bajra and Lizard Grey. I'll be 100%. That's tomorrow. I'm Callie in the Lost Continent. You can catch us tomorrow for Legend of Kralis mm -hmm. with me, Ness, and our DM as a player. Forever DMs, there is a chance. You just gotta play a different game. 
Um, catch us here tomorrow on Friday where we will be playing Legend of Kralis with our lovely nerd dad, Talarius Game Master. And if you want more D&D, you can catch us here at the Edge Now all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. We have games so often. I think we, oh, like, I'm in them. I'm not. <laughs> but there's D D games all the time. There's one on Monday. There's one on Tuesdays. One on Sundays now. They're all the time. You want your D and D fix? Hang out here long enough and you'll find one. Um they're all great. They're all good time. You'll have fun. You'll have fun here. Um Yep. That's what I got. <laughs> Markham, take us home. All right. Uh, my name is Bill Winkelstein. I am the, the senior Shnakrasni here at Sneakle Co. Um, I don't know what I'm fucking Markham. saying. Um, <laughs> although there now needs to be a company called Sneakle Co. in my world, and I don't know what the fuck they do, but it's That's a thing. like the fucking Cabbages Company Corporation from Avatar. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sneakle Co. Maybe they make schnitzels or something. I don't know. Um, anyhow, I'm the Dungeon Lord, Shenanigan Sovereign, etc., etc., etc. Here, um, you can catch us every Thursday here at D in Denial. Um, and we will be back, uh, me, Selkie, and Naz tomorrow night for Legends of Kralis, where we get further traumatized and <laughs> have another yeah. very near brush with death. It's an Aetherpunk science fantasy, so think if someone took Starfield, Lord of the Rings, and smashed them together, there you have it. And then sprinkled in some arcane. Remember that Netflix show? That's no one else true. does. I do. I, I remember that. rewatch that show all the time. It's fucking great. Yeah. I remember. I remember. A <laughs> uh, little bit of Avatar, a little bit of Star Trek and Star Wars, just a bunch of little different things sprinkled in there. It's really fun. Come watch. Um, this is not a threat. For legal it's reasons. It's a good time. Um, it is a good time. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, there's also the Iowan Adventures on Mondays. There is, I believe, uh, I just. Iowan? Iowan? I, I thought it was Iowan. Is it not the Iowan Adventures? I I don't know. Maybe my Lord of the Rings just wants it to be Iowan. Well, yeah, that's believable. I uh, darn it. Now I want it to be the AON adventures too, because I really <laughs> want to follow AON. Um, Tuesdays are state of the union following the Emerald city, uh, as it is, uh, freed from the grip of the United Canadian and American States. Um, and then I think they have something on Saturdays now. So what Saturday games, new contact, yeah. new content, contact, contact, new contact can't, can't, Yes, stuff. Yep. So keep an eye out, have fun, stay safe, and stay lost, everybody. Stay lost, losers. Un- mm. Unless you're this party, then find a wonderful forest to escape into. We'll so. still get lost. That's true. I was about to say, <laughs> we're just lost in a semi We're just lost 